Hey everyone, how are you doing? It's me Jens from the PDF Element Pro team and I'm going to be your host today. Maybe you're in a similar situation where you are attending like an online lecture for example and you have to reach in homework or assignments. Doesn't matter what you have to reach into your lecture but you might have noticed that your lecturer is going to annotate inside of the PDF document that you have sent to him. Reviewing PDF documents as well as giving feedback using annotations is one of the biggest parts of PDF editing up to date and this is what we are going to talk about today. How you can annotate PDF files using PDF Element Pro as well as the different types of annotations that you can use inside of the program. By the way, if you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to subscribe to the PDF Element channel as well as so activate the little notification bell that you can find right next to the subscribe button. This way you are going to stay updated about future features that will eventually come to PDF Element Pro or maybe you want to participate in some kind of giveaway that we are doing from time to time here on this channel. No matter what it is you want to do, definitely make sure to follow the channel and to become a member. And now that you are definitely done subscribing, we are going to dive right into PDF Element, shall we? One way that you are probably used to when it comes to annotation on a physical piece of paper is to use your text marker and mark certain parts of a text out. Or maybe you are not satisfied with a certain part of a text and you want to strike it through. You can do the same thing in PDF Element. Let me show you how. At first you are going to go over to the comments section up here in the tabs. And then you are going to see that we have different types of annotations up here in the upper left corner of the bar. For example, you can highlight certain parts of a text. Click onto the highlight button and now PDF Element Pro is going to find out where the text is located. Once it's done, you can just mark the text down you want to mark and then you are done. You can also set certain colors like for example the standard color is yellow but you can go over to a blue or maybe a greenish tone. No matter what it is you want to mark and in which color you can do so. And when it comes to striking through text it's very similar. You are going to click on the strike through button and then choose the text you want to strike through and then you are done. Once again you can choose the color of your choice. And not only you can do strike throughs, so you can also underline text. Maybe you have forgotten to underline your header in your PDF document. It's not a problem. You can click onto the U button and then underline a certain part of the text. Now there are also other options available like highlighting whole areas or making squiggly line through text. But what you might notice is right now that once you select one of the tools up here, you are going to continuously annotate once you mark down a certain part of the text. To get rid of this problem, what you can do is you can uncheck the keep tool selected option up here to get rid of this problem. Now highlighting text can be a lot of fun, striking through text can also be a lot of fun. But what about adding certain shapes as annotations to your document? This is also an option available in the comment tab. It's right next to what we have done right now. For example, how about adding a box of some sort? Maybe some part is really important like this formula right here. Why not add a box surrounding it? That's a good annotation. Everyone's going to know that this right here is a very important part. After adding your geometric figure, you can also scale it if you wish. This way, even if you misplace your geometric figure, you can still rearrange it, scale it down and place it where it really belongs. Next to boxes, there are obviously other geometric figures like, for example, ellipses or circles. You can also mark it that way. Or maybe you want to point at something using an, an arrow. Maybe this right here is also a very important formula. Let's place an arrow and then we are done. If you want to see all the available options for geometric annotations, you can just go up here to the drop down menu and select what you prefer the most. Now what we discussed up until now is what I like to call simple annotations because you can simply mark out certain parts and maybe your readers can get something out of it. Maybe they know what you mean. But sometimes you need to be more elaborate. You need to add some kind of note or text to your annotations such that you can go into more detail about what went wrong, what needs to be edited etc. And for this we have other options available like adding direct text to your documents or editing text overall or you can add simple notes to certain parts of the document. Let us go ahead and get started with the notes. For this you are going to click onto the note icon inside of the comment section and then your cursor is going to change into the note icon. And now you can place the note wherever you wish. For example here, click once with the left mouse button 
And then if you want to add a certain note in text form, you're going to double click onto the note and a new little window is going to pop up. Here you can place your note. And once you're done adding your note, you can click anywhere, making the little window disappear. But your note is now there and other people can read it. And if you want to get really wild and fancy, you can also change the appearance of your note icon. For this, you are going to right click onto the note icon and go onto properties. And now you can edit the note however you wish. You can set its opacity down. Maybe you don't like yellow. Maybe you want to add a black note or gray note, for example. No matter what it is you want to play around with these options and customize your note as much as you want. Additionally, as mentioned before, instead of putting note boxes inside of a PDF document, you can also add text directly by clicking onto the typewriter icon. Then place the text wherever you want. Or maybe you want to get a bit fancy and wild, then you can also click on the symbol next to the typewriter option being the text box option, place it wherever you wish and type out whatever's on your mind. And just like with the notes, you can customize your text and text boxes however you wish by right clicking onto the element and then going into the properties tab. And now, maybe you are thinking, if I just put a text box somewhere, maybe there wasn't some space next to the part of a text that I'm referring to. How does the reader know that my text box actually belongs to this part of a text, for example? Well, what you could do is add a text box, for example, and put an arrow next to it pointing to the certain part of the text or we can take a look at the so-called callout options which are right next to the text boxes. Click onto the callout button and now click at exactly the part that you want to annotate. For example this formula right here. And now you are going to notice that a box, a text box at that with an arrow is going to appear and the arrow is going to stay exactly at the point where you clicked at all times. And now you can safely put your text box here, double click into it and then you can start annotating just like with the text boxes before with the advantage that an arrow is going to point at a part of the text that you want to annotate. And just like before, if you want to change the appearance of your callout in any kind of way, right click onto the callout and go to properties. And the last way to annotate that I would like to present to you is drawing into your PDF document. This can also be a lot of fun if you have like a touchscreen laptop. I can remember that I was teaching a lot of students at university and I was using this option on PDF element before actually. Be, be, because with a tablet it really made it easy to annotate inside of a PDF using my own writing. For this you are simply going to click onto the pencil button and then you can start drawing to your heart's extent. And maybe you're not satisfied with what you have written. I mean this hello really doesn't look good in any way. You can just use the eraser tool and erase the part that you really didn't like. And this basically concludes today's video. And I'm pretty certain that with all these options that you can find inside of PDF Element, there's something for you that you can use in future projects or maybe if you need to review a PDF document of your colleagues. There's definitely something for you that PDF Element can help you with. And if this video was helpful and to your liking, definitely make sure to like the video and to comment down there below, leave some feedback. Maybe you didn't like something that I was telling here. Feel free to tell me and I'm going to try to improve in the future. And other than that, subscribe to the PDF Element channel and I'm going to see you in the next video. Please stay safe and have a great one. Ciao!